Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. You see it? It's lifted. One, two, three. <laughs> there you go. Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome to my kitchen. I am going to make a spicy creamed spinach. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my teeny tiny little mixer here. You can see it. I've got one ounce of red onions, purple onions, whatever you want to call it, and um, 0.3 ounces of serrano peppers. If you don't like the heat of the serrano, you can use a jalapeno. If you like more heat than a serrano, use a habanero. All right, we're gonna get this started. There we go. Check it out. Really basic. All right, guys, we'll take this and head on over to the stove top. All right, guys, we are at the stove top. I've got about a tablespoon of bacon dripping. We are going to let our onions and our jalapeno saute up just a wee bit. Now, it's not mandatory to use the bacon drippings. I just think it adds a little extra flavor. All right, let's go ahead and keep this sauteed up a little bit. It won't take long since this is really minced finely. Only leaving this in here for about one minute. So here it is guys, I got this spinach from Sprout. I'm gonna use the entire bag, which you will quickly see, dwindles down into absolutely positively nothing. And some more. By the way, this was previously washed and ready to use. Let me ask you, if it says washed and ready to go, do you treat it that way, or do you go ahead and wash it again? Now, this is really a quick, quick meal. You can do this with frozen as well. Um, you are going to have to make sure it's drained very well. And then the last bit of spinach. I apologize for the lighting, guys. I'm using just my cell phone to record instead of my camera. Sometimes what prevents me from videotaping is just the setup and you know you're like oh I'm getting ready for cook for dinner and then you're like oh but I gotta do this so sometimes this is as good as it's gonna get if you're coming to my channel you're not exactly expecting you know Oscar winning videography okay I'm adding a little bit of salt I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of garlic. Okay, I have some leftover cream cheese from another meal that I made. That's just under four ounces. I'm go ahead and get this separated a little bit so it might melt a little bit easier. All right, we're gonna let this cook down just a little bit. All right, guys, the last ingredient here is gonna be some heavy whipping cream, and we're gonna do about I don't know. Not too much. You hear the dogs in the background? About two tablespoons. You'll understand why I'm not going to make it too creamy. You guys, Bo is getting so freaking cute. And Daisy's always been cute. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to just lower this to a very low heat and just let this kind of simmer down a little bit. Now, whatever other seasonings you want, feel free. To add, I wish I had some white pepper. I'd be adding that right now. I don't, so I will use regular pepper. And I'm gonna throw in a little bit of the red pepper flakes. So this is what it looks like when we're done, guys. And this just means done in case you only want to do this cream spinach, which is just fine. So this is a serving of four. It is 204 calories per serving. It's 4.6 grams of carbohydrates, which is 9%, 18 grams of fat, which is 83%, and 3.6 grams of protein at 8%. Now, that's if you leave it as is. We're not leaving it as is. Come on over to the air fryer with me and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, so the next thing is you're gonna take a poblano pepper, you're gonna core out the center, remove this little guy, cut it in half so that it lays flat, and this is what you're gonna be working with. So I actually like this one a little bit better than this. This one's gonna allow me to put my cream cheese mixture in it and put it in my air fryer a lot easier. I have my air fryer warming up right now at 400 degrees. I'm gonna use my spoon that I already used so it's not to get another item dirty. And we're just gonna load this up. And this should go into approximately four 
halves of poblano peppers. All right. And this is just going to go in my air fryer for a few minutes, guys. I'm going to top it with about, oh, I don't know, an ounce of mozzarella cheese. All right, guys, so it's in the air fryer. I'm going to leave it at 400 degrees just for a few minutes, maybe five or so minutes, and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, guys, I'm going to open up the air fryer. It's been about five minutes. Oh, my goodness gracious. Almost knocked over, and check it out, guys. Look, the poblano pepper is cooked quite well. I was worried about that, actually, that it wouldn't get cooked enough, but it's cooked perfectly. And this was no more than like five or six minutes. What are you thinking about this? Now, if you want to make this as a meal, you could easily take your poblano pepper. When your poblano pepper has not yet been filled up, you could easily put like some sausage at the bottom of it, cooked sausage, and or a little bit of shredded chicken and or beef, whatever you have, whatever protein source you have, and then serve this as an entire meal. If you need to add fat content to this, once you add additional protein, and of course you have more vegetable carbs here, then feel free to sprinkle this with a little bit of olive oil and you're good to go. Ooh, that looks good. All right, so uh, I made some cream spinach and spicy serrano cream spinach, and I decided to stuff it in a poblano pepper. Spinach in poblano pepper. Yes, top. It's like Popeye visits Tijuana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Alan. Bring me the spinach and the poblano pepper. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Try it out, babe. Okay. Does it need a knife? Does it need a knife? Doesn't no. even need a knife. Cuts with a fork. Here we go. All right. Good luck. Mmm. Is it spicy? Very spicy. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to cut up farther into the cheesy part. Yeah. Go for it. Oh, now look. This crusty cheese right there. Yeah. You're barking right up my tree there, darling. <laughs> yeah. I know. Like, you got a good scald exactly. on that cheese this time. Exactly. All right. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I married you is the way you scald that cheese right in your song called You Put a Good Scald on It. <laughs> it's a love song. <laughs> Clearly. Good Lord, woman, that is really good. Is it good? Oh, yeah. I would like to have that crusty cheese all the way around it. Yeah. Honey? Yes. People in hell want ice water. <laughs> love you. Give me my cheese. <laughs> love you. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to my channel. So I just went on a walk to Sprouts. That was 8,634 steps to Sprouts and back and picked up a few things. Let me show you some of my yummy things that I got there. I purchased this. I love these here. This is the goat cheese, chive, and onion. I'm going to do a little recipe for this. Actually more of an appetizer, not really a recipe. So I'm going to use this for a recipe. This is, I believe, just under one. It is one gram of carb. You can check out the ingredients. All right. Also picked up some avocados. They were three for a dollar. Gave one of them to my friend. That's why there's only two in my bag. Picked up these. I am not traditionally a fan of sunflower seeds that are already um, peeled. I like to do it myself. It's a time occupier. It is my absolute weakness, sunflower seeds. But anyway, these had sea salt, so I thought I'd give these a try. Here we are. It is six grams, two dietary fibers, so four net carbs, four, a quarter cup. There we go. This is a new find for me at my Sprouts. These are oven-baked cheese bites. They have pizza flavored and then the classic flavored. The pizza flavored is just under one gram of carb. Here are the ingredients. Oven baked to zero carbs. There's the ingredients. And it is two servings for this container. So eat this entire bag, zero carbs and 280 calories. Then I purchased some spinach. I'm going to do a cream spinach today. A recipe for that. Ooh, a recipe for this. Yum. Picked up these. Now, if you look at most of these dried um, chips, they are pretty high in carbs. You, even if it's the okra or the green beans, they're really high. We're talking like in the 20s and 30s grams of carbs. So I picked up the eggplant and check it out. This is the eggplant, dried eggplant. 
and it claims that it is eight grams of carbs, four dietary type, four or dietary fiber. Does have three grams of sugar, but not terrible. This might be a really great David snack. And this container is supposedly a quarter cup for a serving. So this might be a great snack for David. This is yet to be determined. Let me know what you think. It does have things like canola oil and it does have tapioca starch. So it would obviously be a item of concern. But you know what? You could check your blood sugar, see what it does. And that might be a good snack item for you. Lastly, guys, this, I know you've seen it before. This is what I'm telling you. This is my weakness. I love my sunflower seeds. This is just salted. This nice brand that is sold at Walgreens is truly the best brand. And the seeds are ginormous, I'm telling you. Lastly, I picked up a little snack item from Walmart. It is the new best crackling ever. And I would almost say it really is. This is their golden cracklins. Look at the coloring. So different and yummy looking. And so that's the coloring. Let's flip it over. Here's the ingredients. Fried out pork fat with attached skin and salt. But whatever they're doing to make them, and they're big pieces. Look at that. Big honking pieces and delicious. So I'll be using this for a recipe. All right. Just a quick little haul to give you some ideas over at Sprouts. Oh, gosh. The best item I left for last. Dun, 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 dun. All right, guys. This is cacao. 85% cacao covered almonds. It's 14 pieces to a serving. Look at those. They've got sea salt in them. And a 14-piece serving is supposedly 5 grams of carbs. It's 8 carbs with 3 dietary fibers. So, there you go. 5 net carbs for 14 of these little puppies. This might be a really nice option as a snack. If we can stop at 14, that's yet to be determined. <laughs> all right, let me know. Could you stop at 14? Would you stop at 14? Would you just not bite at all and not risk the chance? All right, guys, that's it. That wraps it up. Have a blessed day. Let me know. Is this a no-no in your opinion because of the canola oil and the tapioca starch? Are these a no-no because you couldn't resist them? Let me know, guys. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork fries, pork fries, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like tea. <laughs>